proposal, haha, <laughs> jokes. I'm sorry, but am I being dramatic? Like, babes, I'm not paying to live in a basement. Oh my god. Good <laughs> afternoon, guys, and welcome back to another weekly vlog. My first vlog of 2024. I am back in London. I haven't posted on YouTube for like a month, but I'm back now with the weekly vlog. So I'm so excited for lots of new content. I have a lot of life updates as well because I'm engaged. I feel like this has come out of nowhere for a lot of people because I don't really share my relationship online. So I feel like maybe a lot of people thought I was single, especially on Instagram and there's like something I'm engaged. But I've actually had a boyfriend for 10 years and we're actually going to our 11th year in April. So it's so exciting. I was honestly quite surprised when it happened. Obviously we've always talked about it and I knew he was gonna propose and I knew it was gonna be soon, but I wasn't expecting it to be in that moment. So it was really nice to be surprised. And I also think cause he was acting kind of calm. He said he was sweating and so nervous, but I didn't really notice anything. The so I'm gonna tell you a little story about how it happened. We were in Dubai, so where both of us grew up and we were there for, I was there for Christmas and then he joined for New Year's before we fl flew to Thailand. So we were at my mum's house and he's like, oh, I booked a surprise dinner. But I don't really think anything of it because I did tell him to book us a dinner while we're there. And I was just like, book us a dinner, you can deal with it, like don't tell me anything, it's fine. And then he did, he's like, I booked us a dinner. And it's so funny because on our text, I was like, he's like, I booked us a dinner on this day. I can't remember the date. Maybe I should remember the date actually, because that's our engagement anniversary. Anyway, and I was like, proposal, haha, jokes. And now I'm looking back and he's like, oh no, that's next year, don't worry. And now looking back on the text, I'm like, oh, I predicted it. And he must've been thinking like, oh shit, <laughs> I actually know. But I would just kind of say that it'd be like a running joke and I kind of just say proposal about like everything and I kept saying like you need to start surprising me because I plan everything so I'm gonna know. Anyway we go off to dinner and we get stuck in like half an hour of traffic <laughs> so he must have been like dying trying to act normal and then we arrived at the Anantara in Dubai and that was a location where we he took me for our first year anniversary he, when we were like, how old were we? 14? No. Is that right? Yeah, because it's, no. Yeah. I think, yeah, 14 or 15. And he surprised me when we were that young for my, our first year anniversary with a dinner on the beach at the Anantara. So he then planned his proposal there, which was really sweet. It was actually supposed to be somewhere else, but so many of our plans changed at the end of last year because of something, due to some circumstances. So yes, he did it then and I was very surprised. And then it was so funny because we had so much food come and neither of us could eat. I don't know if any of my guys can relate, anyone that's got engaged. We just had no appetite, we were so excited. And it was a very, very, very nice moment. I feel like it was all over very quickly. And then we went to Thailand. Um, it was all really planned to go to Thailand, we go every year anyway. Um, so it was a really, really nice break and nice to spend a lot of time together. And in terms of like planning a wedding, I think I'm gonna just like take a back seat in any planning at the moment. I'm not sure. I don't really, I want it, because I'm only 26 and so is he, so we're very young. Obviously, I mean, it's not so young. A lot of people do get married at this age, but I think I always said, like, I want to be engaged for a few years. Like, I'm happy to stay engaged for a longer time and not rush to do any wedding, because I just think, because we're so young, we kind of have, like, our lives ahead of us to be married. Like, what's the rush? It's so nice to, like, enjoy this moment of being engaged have like an engagement party and then really just like slowly plan the wedding and make it really nice experience rather than just like rushing into planning everything because time just goes so quickly and like I said we have the whole rest of our lives to be married so why rush it? That's how I think. But obviously everyone has such different circumstances but that is kind of my mentality right now. I just don't feel like I'm ready to just plan a wedding. I still feel like I'm 21 
how I even know I feel like I'm 18 so it feels really really weird for me to just be like talking about weddings and stuff like it just doesn't feel very real yet but anyway I'm excited to show you the whole process of the planning and trying on dresses and all the outfits and I'm so excited for that I think I'm gonna do like loads of London vlogs like taking you guys to wedding dress shops, trying on stuff. And also I wanna film like scouting for wedding locations. I probably wouldn't because this summer we're gonna definitely like travel around to see different venues. So I think that'll be such a fun series to show you guys. And I think it's so helpful also because if you guys are getting married as well, then I think it really, really helps when you kind of see someone else do it and go through that process that you may not have gone through yet. Um, I'm definitely gonna be watching loads of um, YouTubers that have just got engaged or are planning a wedding because I'm sure I will really, really enjoy that content. So anyway, yeah, like I said, that's my a little life update. It is currently Tuesday, only Tuesday and it's freezing cold outside, but to be honest, since I got back, it's been very sunny. So I'm very, very pleased. I've just got my heating on and I don't really plan on leaving the house unless I have to. I'm a bit miserable when I feel cold. I went to the farmer's market the other day in Marlebone and I haven't been there in ages. Anyway, I picked up lettuce and a head of broccoli. I almost fell to the floor. I think it was always eight pounds for a head of broccoli and a bit of lettuce. I'm sorry, but am I being dramatic? I was like, okay. <laughs> I thought it was almost like, I think four or five pounds for a broccoli. I normally pay like 70p an m &S. Anyway, I got over it quite quickly. So this better be the best lettuce I've ever had in my life. It does look nice. Let's see. I'm thinking, I went to Atis the other day and I had one of their salads and I really, really liked it. And it was kind of just like, I get such actually anxiety when I go to places like this because I never know. Like you're a salad bar or anything where you have choice. I don't know what goes well together. So I'm literally like so stressed there. Thank God it wasn't busy because if there were people behind me, I don't think I would have just walked out. I don't think I would have been able to like pick a proper salad because obviously they do have a menu and you can order a foot menu, but again, I don't know what I like together, so it's all a bit of a faff. Anyway, moral of the story, I'm copying the recipe kind of I had the other day. I put some, I'm roasting some chickpeas and broccoli in the oven. I'm gonna put cucumber, tomatoes, avocado, and some feta, and I'm also gonna have some of my sweet potato soup because I made it a few days ago, so today's definitely the last day that I can have it. I was just like, everything, it was like one of those dishes where everything was about to go off, so I just kind of made it all into a soup and blended it, which I actually would recommend if you have a lot of vegetables that you don't want to waste because it's a very good way to avoid wastage. I hate wasting food. And it is ready. I love having a salad in this just massive, massive bowl. So here we have the broccoli, the chickpeas. We have tomatoes, avocado, feta, lettuce. Stunning. I'm gonna go munch on this. I'm literally just like shove it in my mouth. <laughs> Morning. Okay guys, I am back and I really wanted to show you. I literally just received. It's huge. This massive, massive package. Wow. Oh my god, this is so exciting. Nothing, oh god, nothing excites me more than receiving a delivery of activewear. I think it's because I literally live in activewear. Um, so let's see what's inside this suppressed package, which is like, what the hell, why? Uh, Aloe is sending me stuff. That's so cool. Sorry, I screamed. Okay, I'm just gonna go get some scissors. Ah. Uh, Okay, so this first thing was something I was most excited about. <laughs> oh my God, it's an aloe bomber jacket. That's so freaking cool. I've noticed they actually opened a store in London and I think they now ship to London or to England a lot easier than they used to be. I think they've set up a distribution here. So that's super exciting because it was very American before and I think you had to pay like a lot of tax on import or just get it in department stores, but now you can get it here. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. I want to go to the gym right now. Ah, this is like giving me mum Pilates. Oh, chic. Okay, I am obsessed. 
Then so the next thing I got was a pair of leggings. I believe this was their like just their popular oh and a matching bra. Um, so I got these classic black leggings. These feel really really soft, but I will update you guys on a little gym test. I always like to test my things through the gym because I'm so particular about my leggings and active wear because I like to be. I hate when sports bras are too tight because then I just feel like I can't breathe. And I also hate when leggings move or they don't come high enough. My favorite brands are Adenola and Tala. Tried a few fits and Tala, I'm quite happy with them as well. Um, and now I'm gonna test this aloe stuff. Okay, this top is really cool. I feel like this is giving me like, if you wanna look cool for the gym, it's like a high neck and it's like a backless top. So that with those leggings, I think would look so chic. And again, it feels really, really soft. And the next thing I got, I know what these are, these are socks, but I always wear like high socks with all my leggings, mainly in the winter to keep my legs warm, like my ankles, but also again, I think it just looks nice and they are nice and thick, so they are for the gym. It's these beige aloe socks, which are so pretty and so soft again. My, so they're unisex and my fiance always steals my nice socks. So there are aloe trainers, which again, I just feel like aloe, it's such like giving me yoga mum energy, like rich, cool, yummy mummy vibes. Um, so I'm here for it. And I'm, to be honest, like all my trainers have always just been from like Adidas or Nike. So I thought, why not get aloe? Fully embraceable look. Oh, these are cool. These are definitely more lifestyle or like, these I was envisioning, envisioning? going to like a Pilates class. Cause you know in Pilates, you like, you take your shoes off. So you don't need the actual trainer. It's like wearing those, like to yoga. How chic. Ooh, they're white. They kind of look, they kind of like the same shape as like Air Force ones. Oh, they've got a heel in there. Oh my goodness. These are going to give me like a few inches. So the sole ends here. And then that's all basically height. That is literally like wearing high heels. Oh, I love that. That is gonna make my legs look so long. I'm so, so pleased with those other, those aloe bits. Good morning, guys. I hope everyone's doing well. It is Wednesday today, and today I, sorry, let me just fix that angle because I feel like that's a little bit annoying. So today I have just been filming some videos. I love filming content at home, especially when it's so nice and sunny. So I've just finished that and I'm gonna make myself some lunch, but I, have kind of like this exciting period right now because we are looking for a place to purchase which is so cool so exciting so grown up but i just feel like we've been renting in london for like eight years now so we think it's time and we're kind of in a position to kind of get our own flat in london which is super 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 crazy and super exciting and just kind of surreal but along with that comes a lot of viewings. And I started viewings on Monday, so today is Wednesday. I've tried to see around, seen around, let's say, 10 properties. So nothing crazy, but obviously in London, everything is so friggin' expensive and small. So it's really hard to find the right place in budget for sure. Like it's very, very, very difficult in London, as you guys can imagine. Property prices are a little bit crazy. But so yeah, I've just been on the hunt for that, which occupies a lot of time. I have agents calling me from like the minute I wake up until I go to sleep. Well, I normally go on the viewings in the afternoon. So it's very, very, very full on. And I've been trying to kind of like, the first like Monday and Tuesday, it really took up and consumed a lot of me. And I'm someone that like, I can't, focus on a few things at once. I need to be focused on work or I need to be focused on flat hunting. I really struggle to like divide my time and be productive in all of those kind of aspects. I don't know if any of you guys are the same, but I need to be focused. Otherwise I just can't, I cannot be dealing with a few things at once. So yes, I was doing viewings and I was gonna take you along with me yesterday and I wanted to show you guys a couple of the flats that I was viewing. But the thing is, it's like, sometimes I'll go into the flat and it's tenanted. So I don't feel like it's appropriate to kind of show other people's things. Like I am taking videos, but mainly just for like my personal use and to show my partner, my partner, 
my fiance <laughs> because obviously he can't come to all the viewings because he's got an office job so he's much more less flexible than i am so yes i will try and film in some black i'm going to see a couple today and i think i'm going to have some film in them because they don't seem to be talented so i'll show you because i feel like i'm so nosy and i love to see what people are looking at and yeah i just want to kind of take you on this journey i'm not gonna do so many dedicated videos for it because like i said it's actually really really hard for me to film people's space and if i go in there at night and honestly it is so shocking to see the states how some people live like you'll go into an, an apartment in a really nice location that costs enough and it is a tip like the stuff is everywhere and i just have to go in there with a really open mind and something some places are old like we are definitely so open to like renovating certain aspects of it as well obviously not like a full renovation because girl that's freaking expensive but definitely like livable and kind of like in a good enough state so that we could kind of like redo the bathrooms over time we do the flooring, we do the paint, stuff like that. That's not like crazy, but can definitely be improved over time. So yeah, a lot of places have been so like not touched in like 15 years. No, not 15. So that's not even that bad. A long time. Let me tell you that. Um, so yes, but you just have to have a very open mind and kind of like see the potential in a lot of the places. So yeah, I don't know if anyone is in the same kind of position at the moment, like looking for a place, um, but I'm new to it. So now I'm definitely like so much more interested in all this kind of like moving content and renovation content and everything like that. I mean, who knows? We may not even find a place this year to live, but hopefully, 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 hopefully. Good morning, guys. I look like I'm about to go rob a bank, but it's so cold and miserable today outside. So I'm just going for cozy. I'm not wearing any makeup. I'm just in full comfies and just trying to stay as warm as possible. But today is an exciting day because I am going to view some London. I don't know why I said London. Like obviously I'm in London, but some flats to potentially buy, which is so exciting. But you guys know London and finding flats are two things I don't want to be dealing with. It is very spenny and thought you get very small. So I just started my search and it's interesting to see what you can kind of get. So I thought why not take you guys along if you guys are in similar situations or you're just nosy and want to see people's flats. Like I'm so freaking nosy. I love to see people's apartments and what they look like. So let's go. I've got one now and then I have a little break and I think I'm going to go work in a coffee shop for a little bit and then I've got quite a few later. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys each place. I'm going to like sneakily film my phone because I'm not sure they'd be happy with me like whipping my camera around. Um, but let's go. I'm already running late for the first one and I hate being late, so let's go. Good morning guys, it's the next day and of course I didn't update you guys yesterday after the property search. I inserted a couple of clips of a couple of places I saw, but like honestly, guys, I am wearing trousers by the well, I'm wearing a skirt, it looks like I'm here like naked, but guys, London sucks, honestly. To get a property here is ridiculous. Like they're both absolutely lovely flats, don't get me wrong, but they're just so, everything was so small and also lower ground floor or ground floor, which if you're familiar with London, I'm sure you would see in like certain neighborhoody areas, like flats that are lower ground. Like, babes, I'm not paying to live in a basement. I'm not living underground. It's just ridiculous. Anyway, so more of the, so I just wanted to update you, but there's nothing to really update you on, so it was just terribly unsuccessful. But I just got a package from a brand called Anna Louise Boutique, and I just wanted to open it together. I know it's a couple of dresses, 
and they looked really nice and I think it's something you guys would really like so I just wanted to show you. I'm going to film, I also ordered, a, I also made a big order from Zara and it came and all the stuff is so so good but I don't want to show you in this video, I want to make a dedicated video for it because the pieces are so nice so I just wanted to do like a full try on and like properly speak through the items together. Oh this is cute, this is like a black dress. It's giving old money, old money vibes. That is so cute. I will make sure to do a full try and haul all of this stuff in my next video. But how cute, even a little bow here. I just feel like dress like this, you can't go wrong because they're just such a nice stable to have in your wardrobe. Oh, I hate the word or the term old money like I hate it but I'm using it why because that is like the aesthetic but it annoys me so much <gasps> anyway um this is the second thing I got this is giving Sophia Ritchie oh my god so cute uh apparently Sophia Ritchie's pregnant I don't know if I'm spreading rumors but that's what I see on TikTok that's cute and it comes with matching trousers obsessed this is such a nice winter outfit. Like that top with matching trousers. Trez, tres chic. Tres chic. Love it. Anyway, stay tuned for the next video because I'm going to be trying all the new stuff that I've got on. Why do I change accents? Maybe it's a stress thing. Okay, so today's agenda, I've just been out, I was taking, shooting some content and then I'm gonna go to the Ned, I got invited to go to the Ned Spa, how cool is that? Just mainly to get, I think it's like a skin consultation, I'm not really sure what we're gonna do, I met a girl that works there and she was like, why don't you come in for a skin consultation? I was like, yeah sure, I'm honestly loving my skin at the moment, I'm feeling so pleased with it and I honestly think, I've not had any, obviously this camera actually smooths you out so much, but in real life, I'm actually quite pleased with it because because I've not, I have been doing the 30 hour challenge, but I've been adjusting it. But basically, I'm drinking so much more water, I'm not doing, drinking alcohol, and I've been exercising loads. And I honestly think, and eating healthy. So it's not like I'm, I was unhealthy before or drinking loads, but like on the weekend, I'd go out, I'd go out for a meal, I'd have wine, blah, blah, blah. And then you don't actually realize how much you're consuming, especially like loads of like oils and cheeses and whatever, the stuff that kind of makes your skin bad. And my skin has not, I've not had a breakout in a few, like since I kind of started, touch wood, because I'm gonna, I always say this, it's like with anything, I, say oh i'm never sick i've not been sick oh yeah and then the wait next day i'm gonna wake up feeling sick or i always say like my skin's doing so amazing i'm so pleased with it and then i always wake up the next day with a spot so that's just the way life goes good afternoon guys we are back in the kitchen i am so hungry it's like 1 30 and i'm so so ready for some lunch you know i'm on diet not diet i don't actually diet but I'm cooking healthy, so let's cook healthy meals together. By the way, these friggin' pecans, pecans, pecans from m and are so good. They cannot be good for you. They are the roasted and salted ones. They are so good. Remember? You go to m and pick these up, and let me know what you think, because they're unreal. I'm not a nut kind of person. I love peanut butter. I never snack on nuts, but these are so good. Okay, lunch today is I'm trying to eat healthy at home. I like the fish I eat are prawns and salmon. I'm so bored of them, but I recently discovered, not discovered, but I started buying tuna at home. I never used to make it at home. And these are tuna steaks and it's so good. I made like a tuna burger the other day. I basically diced up one of these steaks and had it in a lettuce wrap and put it with like soy sauce and sesame oil and it was so delicious. So since I had that, I'm just addicted to having these tuna steaks. I had one yesterday and I'm gonna make a tuna salad. I'm gonna fry a tuna steak and have a salad. They're really high in protein and they're really good for you. So, fibulous and they taste so good. So I'm gonna whip up that salad quickly because I'm starving.
made the salad and I'm gonna marinate the tuna but I wanted to show you guys how I do it because it's just so simple yet so delicious. So we're gonna get some soy sauce and we are going to get some sesame oil. These aren't the burgers by the way that I mentioned. This is literally, I'm just cooking a tuna steak. Oh God. Okay, and we're gonna get your tuna. Whenever I'm like dealing with fish, I'm like always using so many different cutleries because you don't want to cross contaminate. So I'm gonna get my tuna, plop it in the bowl, cover it in soy sauce. I kind of just eyeball because I just prefer it that way. A few drops of sesame oil. I would say it's like a tablespoon of soy sauce and then a few drops of sesame oil. It depends how sesame you want it. And then you're just gonna mix it around. To be honest, it doesn't really need to marinate for long. It kind of sucks it all up anyway. As you can see, it's kind of all sucked up all the juiciness. And I'm just gonna literally, you literally fry it for um, like two minutes. So it's so quick. But this is such a good lunch recipe because it literally just takes, I think that whole process just, like, it's like 15 minutes or less lunch. It's gonna take me a bit longer because I put some broccoli in the oven because I don't really have many ingredients. My salad is kind of olives, cucumber, lettuce, and avocado. I, I would ideally add some more bits in, but I don't have anything else, so beggars can't be choosers. So I'm just kind of, I love, I don't know about you guys, but I love finishing things in the fridge. Like, I find it so satisfying, like finishing like a load of vegetables or anything and then just like throwing the packaging away. Bit of a loser, but that really, really makes me happy. Okay, so I've got my tuna, I've got my pan, and I'm just gonna, I always use a spray, to be honest, I feel like it's not very, like it smells like chemicals, so it's, it's the best to use, we're not recommend it, but I feel like it's so easy then pouring loads of oil, because I sometimes really overdo the oil. So you're just gonna get yourself a little pan, and I'm gonna wait till that gets hot actually, because then it will sizzle very, very quickly. Okay, and that is lunch served. So easy, so quick, and also so, so, so delicious. I've literally just shown you guys how to shove some lettuce into a bowl and how to fry a tuna that is probably the easiest thing to make. But nevertheless, I feel like it's inspo, you know? Like, I'm not showing you how to make it, I'm just giving you inspo for a nice, quick, and easy lunch. But I'm gonna eat this now and see you guys later. Good morning guys. I say it's the morning, but it's not. It's actually the afternoon, but I always say morning when it's the first time I'm coming on here. So I am vlogging right now because I'm about to head out to a store visit. I'm going to Rouge to see their new store and I wanted to take you guys along because I feel like it'd be fun to show you what's in stores and also just try on some outfits with you guys. I am wearing my new coat from Source Unknown. I'm just going to show you. Please excuse the absolute mess everywhere. Again, I've been filming all day and I just make such a mess, but it is this gorgeous, gorgeous coat and it's so nicely structured. So these are the items that I picked out to try on. They are so cute. You can kind of see how I've got one color palette, beige and gray, and also this leopard print dress. So let's try it all on. Okay guys, I just got home and I wanted to show you the bits I picked up. Please excuse the way I look today. I honestly feel like I've hit a bus. I've got like period cramps. I feel so tired. So it's just that time of the month where 
life catches up on you. Anyway, look how freaking cute this tote bag is. It's so colorful. Um, so this is our spring summer collection and it got me really excited for the spring. I'm not gonna lie. I know it's way too early to be talking about it and I always get so ahead of myself with the seasons, but Anyway, you guys saw me trying on. I wanted to speak in the changing room, but like the lady that I was meeting was sitting outside and I just felt too awkward to speak. Just get camera shy. So this is the first thing I chose. It's this really cute top. It's got this gorgeous, gorgeous texture, as you can see, which I think will be such a nice spring staple. It's just kind of like an elevated top and the quality is so nice. You guys, like there were colorful options, but obviously your girl went for the plain beiges, neutrals. So the second thing I got this cardigan and as you can see when I was wearing it in the video, it really sucks you in nicely here. It goes in here and it's just so flattering. So I just thought this was actually such a nice cardigan staple. It's got so much details on it. And I just think it's so, so cute. There you can see the thick cable knit. I mean, you can't go wrong with something like this. Like everything I got is definitely like a nice staple to spring summer. So the next thing I got was this. Unfortunately, you saw when I was had it, on, had it on in the changing room that it came with a matching skirt. But unfortunately, the one I tried on was on hold for another customer. So they didn't have my size. But I got the top and then maybe they're gonna send me the um, skirt. But I thought this was actually something different for me. I love the flower embroidery. It's very rouge. It's very French style to kind of have this nice floral detail. But I really like the way this cardigan comes in. I think it's so cute and quite playful. And then the fact that it comes in a matching skirt I think is so pretty. And you can just wear it as a really nice set. But even this with like blue jeans or something like that would look so cute. So I'm really excited to wear this. I just really cannot wait for the temperature to go to like a nice temp where you could just wear a cardigan and jeans. Like I think that's definitely my absolute favorite time of year. Now it is 4.30 and it's pretty much really dark outside. I went to the gym this morning so I've got like the evening to just chill. I've got some more work to do and I've got loads of planning to do because the next next month's actually going to be really, really busy. I've got to plan Milan Fashion Week and Paris Fashion Week and London Fashion Week and loads of other things going on and shoots and stuff. So I feel like actual pressure to be really organized. So I'm going to crack on with work and I'll talk to you guys later.